Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, we have a couple things to talk about. Obviously, we'll get to it here in a second, but the first thing I wanna talk about is you guys. Thank you all so much um, for all of the love and the well wishes and everything on my birthday, which was Saturday. I know we had a, I had a bunch of issues with my upload on Friday, so it went up on my birthday, and you guys were just so sweet. Like, you all told me to relax, it's fine, and I take my upload schedule very seriously, and the videos and the content and everything is very structured for me. And so when things don't go right, I get really upset about it. And you guys were just there to tell me, you know what, Paige, like, calm down. It's fine. Just enjoy your birthday. Do your thing. I really just could not have asked for a better group of people. And I just wanted you guys to know how much I love and how much I appreciate you because it means the world to me. And while we're also at it, we can go ahead and address the little brown elephant in the room. Y'all, my new hair. Ooh, honey. My friend did this and she did such an amazing job. We went one shade darker and I've always wanted this style of a cut, just like a nice kind of blunted off style. But basically what I'm trying to say, honey, is we are diving into 30 with fresh hair, fresh face, and a whole week's worth of makeup. And that's what we're going to talk about next. So let's discuss what is happening this week as far as what you will look out for. Um, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm actually coming to you right now at the start of the week. And I'm going to tell you that this, everything you see is going to be reviews throughout the week. When I laid out the products that I wanted to bring you guys this week, it literally just all coincided that it would work on one face, which has literally never happened. And I was like, can I pull this off? Can I do this? Huh, can I do this? I'm 30 and I have new hair. I can do anything girl. I'm invincible. So for today, for example, as you already saw in the title, we will be diving into Tarte holiday sets. And then after that, we're going to have a couple more reviews throughout the week that are new. A couple of them are more like mini review style. And I love doing those videos. You guys love those videos. And we're going to be focusing on a couple different areas of the face that we don't always focus on. And then we're going to be doing a foundation review. And then there's going to be another video. And it's just going to be a really fun week. So you'll definitely want to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and check us out every single day. Because if I pull this off, I'm going to be so impressed with myself. So you guys, let's go ahead and dive into today's review. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we got going on. But first things first. Oh, yeah. Now on to the most important thing, you guys. Let's go ahead and start talking about these Tarte Holiday Gifts. So first up here, I'm going to be reading everything from the Alta.com website. And we have this little ditty right here. This is the Gift and Glam Collector Set. It retails for $49. The set includes 20 eyeshadows, 4 cheek shades in 4 interchangeable palettes, a travel size Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara, and a deluxe Double Duty Beauty Busy Gale Gloss. Now, I will say that as someone who has been reviewing these Tarte Holiday sets since the beginning of her channel, um, this one is really, really beautiful, and it definitely has some areas where I feel like it has improved, but there's also some areas that I'm like, really? really tart again. So let's go ahead and just kind of dive into the overall aspect of this and give you a real quick rundown of it. So for $49, what are you getting? First of all, each one of these is a mini palette here that does, of course, click out like so. And uh, all the names are on the back. And then the idea is that you can take any one of these four that you want to. You can open up this little drawer down here and it will reveal to you this little palette. And then here is your little mini palette. So when they said it's customizable, all you do is take this little bad boy out line it up and it pops right in there magnetically and you're good to go. And you can do this with any of the four palettes in here. The travel option or as like an on the go option, I think this is a really cute concept. But my issue that I take is with this gigantic box because even if you take one of them out, ultimately you still have to house the other three in this big beast. Now if this is the case where maybe you're picking this up for someone that doesn't have a ton of makeup and uh, they could keep it as like a vanity piece, maybe prop it up, put like a photo in front of it and make it look really cutesy. I think that this is definitely something that you could use use as a display piece or an art piece or a background piece um, to other things and it would look really beautiful. So if you're picking it up for someone for the purposes of them to kind of show it off and let it be seen, I think that you could be onto something and that it would work depending on their space. But if you're thinking of getting this as a collector or for a collector of makeup, I don't know that this is something I would recommend because I feel like even in my drawer, I'll just use me as an example, um, this would take up quite a bit of room. Like this is a very hefty package, especially just to store these four little things, which if you took them out would be about this tall and this wide. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to store a lot here. But if you're looking to purchase this as a collector or for a collector of makeup, I don't know that I would recommend it just based on this big old cumbersome side because this is a lot of room to take up in somebody's makeup collection if it's something that they plan on storing. Now again, if you're planning on leaving it out, you want it for decor, I think it's a really beautiful piece. Tarte does an amazing, amazing job with their presentation. Now going into my eye look, I will tell you out of here, I only used the matte shades, which 
is what I'll go ahead and let you watch me apply right now. Um, but as far as the way that everything worked and blended, I didn't have too many issues. Now, I chose this palette specifically so we could see how the purple manipulated because in the past, in other Tarte Holiday collections, I have had so, so many issues with their purples, with their deep shades, not wanting to blend, being really chunky and very harsh. And in this palette, I definitely didn't have that experience. So now watching that part of the face be applied, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like the shadows are nice. They have beautiful pigment. They do blend, but you tend to have to add a little bit more and blend out and just work with it. Just finesse it a touch more than I would a normal shadow. And for that reason, like the add and the build and the blend, I do have to knock it down some points. But overall, I think that the blend on these shadows is a lot nicer than the blend that I've had on other Tarte Holiday shadows. And even going through and swatching them and uh, showing them to camera, I feel like they look a lot nicer. I feel like while I was swatching them and playing with them, they had a much nicer consistency and texture than in previous years, which is really, really nice. Now, real quick, I do want to touch on the one thing about this that makes me so upset. And I just sat here and recorded it for 15 minutes and I am going to stop. I'm not going to use that footage. I'm going to use this footage because that footage is anger and I don't want to be angry. I want to be calm and collected, but we need to have a conversation. It seems like it's a conversation I have every year when I review these, but Tarte, this is a bronzer. Why do we keep doing this? This makes me so pissed off. Yes, it's something that, a broken record. I know I talk about it a lot. That's why the last 15 minutes where I was angry, I'm not gonna get angry this time. I don't even understand how this keeps happening. Like, honestly, if I'm, God, let's just have real talk for a second. I sit here and every year when I make these videos, I feel more and more disheartened by it. Like, should I even still talk about it? Should I even still try? And I don't wanna ever sit here and act like I'm like some great person who talks about it because I'm talking about something I can't even relate to. Like, I'm not the, I'm not, you. I'm not the medium or the deep skin toned beautiful human being that just wants to buy a holiday palette for themselves or their daughter or their best friend or whatever and realizes that, oh, I can't because it wasn't made for me. Like, oh, I wasn't thought of. My skin tone wasn't thought of when they made this. Like how, I can't even imagine what that would be like. So I don't want to sit here and act like I'm some, I'm some righteous person by talking about it because that's not the case at all. I want to just sit here and I want to open this conversation, but I also know that it's not my conversation to have. And so I guess with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut myself up. I'm going to, you know what? page. That part of this is done. I invite all of you to have that conversation in the comments. If you have something to say, and please, please, if you are a medium to deep skin tone and I'm like grossly overstepping or I'm like, I'm not or whatever, please feel free to let me know down in the comments because I welcome that type of information. I am not really ever sure where that is. Like I've just always been that person that says what she believes is right and what's wrong. And to me, this is wrong. So I talk about it, but I don't want to be that person that like oversteps and also doesn't know it. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather be told, hey, Paige, yes, no, yes, no, than just let me go and not say anything. Let's go ahead and move on, you guys, to what I was so excited about. The whole reason I wanted to do this video, these cheek trio things, I... Whew. When I saw these on the Ulta side, I was like, need it, need it, need it, need it. Like everything in my brain was just like, get that, get that, get that. Because these are so cute. Like everything about them from the packaging, the presentation, the way the colors are in here. Like I love, love these little sets. Now I do have a couple of issues, which I'll get into here in a second, but let's go ahead and run down like the pricing and all of that. So this entire trio set right here, which is nine, what they call cheek shades, whether that is a cheek highlight or a blush or a bronzer or whatever, there's nine cheek shades in here. So different colors and it's $35 for this entire set versus like their regular blush, which on its own is $29. So as far as comparing amount of product and price and all of that, I'm not going to get into the numbers. I'm just going to tell you that it's worth it. For one blush for 0.2 ounces, it's $29. And for one of these little stackers, it's uh, over that amount of product. And this entire kit is only six more dollars. So you're getting a hell of a deal when it comes to the amount of product versus the price, especially according to what they normally sell and all of that. Um, I really do like these. I actually went in with two different shades today, which you'll see here in a second. And I really like both. I love how they applied. They worked beautifully. The pigmentation was stunning. Now, as far as the stack overall, again, I don't take any issues with it. I actually did try going in with this highlight right here and it wasn't quite what I expected. It wasn't quite fine enough. It didn't, it just didn't have that lust for me. And I think it was because I'm so fair. This just wasn't quite light enough in its undertone to work for me, but I did go ahead out of the main palette and add a little bit to my highlight to make it work. So I was able to make it work between everything, but if you are fair like me, just be mindful that this might not be quite light enough. You might have to add just a little bit more of something else to make it really pop on your cheek. But as far as the blushes, those worked beautiful. They were 
absolutely stunning on my face and I love them so much and this little kit is just everything that I wanted it to be and then some now my only issue out of this is that they did of course of course they added another bronzer shade and I didn't even notice it as a bronzer because it's not my preferred undertone but if you're in this little the gold stack right here the rose gold stack this one right here they're specking out as a uh, bronzer shade and just so you can kind of compare it to the one out of the big palette which was this one this is that bronzer now for me this is a little bit too warm tone I don't think I would wear this as a bronzer as a blush I would wear it like as a nice little light veil I think it would be really pretty but I would not wear that as a bronzer but just one more thing like, yep, they just <laughs> snuck a little bronzer. Like, why not just make them all blushes? Why? Why? I just don't get it, but I'm not I'm not going to get into it again. We've already had this conversation. Uh, but for me, I love the little stacker. If you like the colors and you can work with the consistency of it, it's really nice. I'm not going to sit here and drone on. I do want to kind of move through these because otherwise this video is going to be seven years long. But I really enjoy this little trio. I think, again, if you like the colors, you'll really enjoy it. Um, the pigmentation on these is absolutely stunning. They're very smooth. They apply very quickly you don't have to build them up a ton um to just get like nice payoff and have them look stunning now i will say in previous years and i can't attest to these ones yet because i'm still working with them but in previous years their blushes when it came to their holiday collections were always a little bit lackluster and they didn't last quite as long as their amazonian like their regular expensive amazonian clay so just something to keep in mind again i can't attest to that i'm still wearing them i've been wearing this blush now for seven six seven hours and it still looks exactly like it did when I put it on so they're working well for me but just something I wanted to throw out there that's something that in previous years people have had issues with but oh my god you guys for me it's just like my compliments it's shiny it's beautiful I love it so now let's go ahead real quick and dive into this guy finish up the eyelids because we already started them and then I kind of skipped over and didn't finish them so for those I grabbed this right here this is their chrome for the holidays little paint pot set here and on the Alta website this retails for $24 currently sitting with four out of five stars and down in the description basically what you need to know is that in this set you are going to be getting four deluxe size chrome paint pot shadows in two core shades and two never before seen shades diving into this little guy and like the technicality of it there can be a little bit of an issue when you work with these if when you open up the package they can have this weird like crumbly texture going on to them I do not know what that's about I've asked hard about it and they say that that's okay that they can be like that they can be used pressed or not pressed for me I think they just break all over the place and Tarte wants you to repress them on your own which is exactly what I do they actually come with this little uh, presser plastic thing in there and I take that little presser I press everything back together and they work just fine whether they're crumbly or not for me I just press them back together so they're easier to handle so just something I wanted to throw out there I know people have had issues with it I've had issues with it and when you contact Tarte they're basically like they're fine they're usable and you're like but what do I do with them so for me to you that's what I do I just press them back down with the little presser call it a day if you want to clean up everything and make it look nice and pretty you can do that too um for me though this is one of my favorite items that Tarte makes I absolutely love these I think the formula even though they get weird and they can get crumbly and broken up and stuff in shipping I still think they're beautiful that formula is just like so so gorgeous the way that they applied to my lids today I mean look at it just look at it they're so good so reflective and I love love of layering these because each one of them does have a different color and I think within this set right here you're definitely getting a good color range and a good value in that sense now let's go ahead and talk about the comparison between these and the full size because of course you guys know I'm gonna talk about how much product you are actually getting um, in these little guys right here each one of these little pots the deluxe sizes are 0 0.035 ounces and if you multiply that out it equals 0.14 now 0.14 compared to what you would normally get in a paint pot is pretty good a standard paint pot is 0.11 and it is $22 so you're actually getting a little bit more product for two more dollars and if actually you know what that being said if it's me I'm thinking these are a great option because a little bit of these go a long long way like using up a full paint pot I don't even know anybody that's used up a full paint pot because just you literally just poop into the pan and it just goes all over your lid and you're great like the color is so beautiful and so rich and metallic you're not going to ever need more than this little deluxe size, especially before they come out with a new one next year at Christmas. So if it's me and you see one of the colors in here is one of the ones you were eyeing, I definitely suggest picking this up. I think it's a really great value, um, especially just getting to play around with the colors and have a little more fun with the same amount of money. I think it's just a good juxtaposition. And uh, so I'm on board with this. I love it. I love this product. I think it's fantastic. Let's go ahead and dive on to the final item of the day, the one that I am wearing also on my face right now, this adorable little glove 
gloss set. And I think it's really funny that in my recent uh, purchaser pass, I talked about the new, was it Givenchy, how they had these little scarab bug beetle things. And I was like, no, those are awful. And do these not also look like little scarab bug beetles? Not as bad as those, but also little scarab bug beetles, right? Like, come on. And I, I saw these, they showed up and I was like, I just bought scarab bug beetles, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, you did. But I just think they are so, so cute. Like, the packaging, they have, like, this really nice kind of faceted diamond jewelry thing going on, and I think they are so, so cute. And the kit itself is $28. And basically, the highlights for these glosses are that you get four different shades. They each have 0.17 ounces per piece. Um, you have a sheer pink with gold, a sheer gold with silver, a clear with pink glitter, and a sheer plum with silver glitter. So lots of different little tones and undertones in there. They have hyaluronic acid. They have vitamin E and a nice light vanilla fragrance and of course they are vegan and dermatologist tested and I think what I like most about this little set is just the overall packaging like these for what you get they are just so so cute and I think the amount of product you're getting in here is a very nice amount let me go ahead actually I have a gloss right I have several glosses right here um this is a Jouer gloss and this has 0.21 ounces in it and then I also have a Jeffree Star gloss and this has 0.15 so each one of these actually has more than a Jeffree star gloss and it has a little bit less than a Jouer gloss and then I also just found these two glosses this one from ABH has 0.16 so it has a little bit more than that and this one from L'Oreal has 0.21 so a little bit less than that so value wise I definitely think this is worth it you're getting four full-size glosses for $28 which is seven bucks a piece like that is it's fantastic now as far as the consistency goes these are definitely not the thinnest gloss like they're not a Fenty or a Lunar Beauty or anything like that those are very very thin and when they apply they're just like so wet and so juicy like instantly this one is different it's somewhere in between that and like a slightly thicker formula again not as thin as that but not as thick as like the Revlon Ultra HD I love this so much but it's much more on the thick side so those are all the little sets that I picked up for you guys I don't want to drone on too long this was mainly just like a video little bit of application this is what's out there kind of my brief thoughts if you're looking for something as far as value goes I definitely think sticking in this realm is probably the best um, more so I think the glosses those are probably the best I think this is amazing just because you get to play around with so many different cheek options. So all of that said, here's what I want from you guys. I want to know your thoughts and opinions. I want to know what you think of the Tarte collections. Are you into them? Are you not? Like, where do, where do you sit on all of this? Like, are, are there some things you are interested in? Yes, no, maybe not so much. Leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Of course, if you want to see what else is coming this week and what else we're going to be talking about, because no, it's not going to be listed in the description, you're going to have to wait and see. Um, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel because I do upload five videos videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I hope that you like it. Uh, I hope it's not too weird, but I mean, you guys can tell me if it is, and, and we'll just kind of, we'll renegotiate for next time, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and again, thank you for all the birthday love, and uh, thank you guys just for being you. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, real quick, we just talk about some for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to look in the mirror because I was going to do my foundation check-in and um, what the hell <laughs> happened here? I just looked on the inner corner of both of my eyes and I have a big like glob of black eyeliner that somehow traveled and made its way down onto my actual, I don't even know what, this inner inner eye cheek pocket? Like what, what happened there? I just want you guys to know, I just saw it, didn't know it was there. Um, when I started the video... It wasn't there. When I checked a couple times throughout the beginning of the video, it wasn't there. But sometime in the last, I don't even know when, it happened to be there. <sighs> so that's cute. I just want to let you guys know. I just saw it. It's really cute, isn't it? Like, wow. I honestly, like, I'm a little bit shocked by that. Damn. I just want you guys to know I saw it. And if you didn't see it, I wanted to point it out to you because why is it there? Uh, anyways, that's all on that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs>